Hi, my name is Peter, and uh, um, I was watching a video on YouTube about a, a girl who um, experienced the loss of the Holy Spirit. And, um, I'm going through uh, this uh, myself, and uh, it uh, happened uh, that uh, a few months ago, I, I. I lost the Holy Spirit and um, received a second chance um, and um, <sighs> well I'm having a problem because uh, for um, for a long time for around 30 months I was uh, angry at God and was releasing my anger towards him and uh, telling him stuff that uh, I knew weren't truth but uh, I was just uh, emotional and out of control and uh, here's the thing that um, before uh, this happened all of this happened uh, I had a almost I can I can tell you perfect relationship with God we had uh, s the most intimate relationship and um, he was like air for me I couldn't breathe without him and I was continuously uh, under uh, demonic attacks and uh, the thing is that uh, what caused this to happen is that um, I I went through trials and tribulations and uh, passed them, but there were one time when God took something uh, away from me uh, that was um, the like in my life it was the most. Uh, like the only thing that uh, really made my life uh, uh, livable, uh, and uh, the only thing that when I what I did um, made my life, you know, fulfilled, and it was computer, and uh, I was f actually fighting an addiction, and it was the h hardest. Uh, probably one if not the hardest and at least one of the hardest but I can say I can say that it is probably the hardest uh, thing that I've ever ever um, I mean challenge that I have ever uh, been through and uh, at the end of it um, well I def defeated lust but I was not able to you know you know defeat sexuality but I was able to go over the action but I stumbled and got back so but thing is at the end of it um, I, I was uh, motivated by uh, sorry I had uh, an error notification for some reason um, I had uh, no a motivation to look forward to uh, because uh, the addiction was really really tough and uh, I wanted to I wanted to uh, oh, like like go through it and uh, at the end God took away uh, the only thing in my life that made my life like uh, passable and so this was the first time that uh, I kind of, I gave up and I did not uh, I, I had some plan which I am not going to tell explain right now but um, that's that's my first time that this something like this happened and this is the second time that I gave up but this time I gave up completely I 
the first time I gave up upon something that I planned to 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 do to return to to f but uh, I didn't because I was I I said oh, okay <laughs> it's fine I actually prayed for him to take away computer but the way how he did it was uh, when I was in the most down and vulnerable and this is the same thing that happened at the second time that uh, um, I was uh, well basically this happened two years later and uh, I was uh, in a state uh, when I how to say this I believe that the rapture is going to happen and I had a vision um, uh, which I actually applied, uploaded on YouTube and PeerTube uh, which, with the message uh, with the, well, the explanation being that I should look up and this that's what I did but the rapture didn't happen and I I went full in and uh, did everything I could to um, to like like uh, gain heavenly heavenly rewards like i gave everything in into uh, into into this and at the end of the year i i was so weak that i i was i was i told god i'm not going to be able to go on for another other year and uh, the next year when it started i uh, I was um, I wanted to return uh, back to trying to save people around me and um, the Holy Spirit indicated that there is like I felt in my spirit so, so um, that there is nothing for me to do uh, it, it just it it happened one time that I, I, I was doing some uh, course, a uh, computer course, and I wanted to tell a person about what's going to happen, like the rapture, the mark of the beast, and stu such stuff, and wa warn them, but uh, actually, um, this was during the a conversation, they mentioned God, but I was I'm I'm the silent type of a person and later on I wanted to fix this and I was thinking and you know forcing myself how to do it and I was kind of like surprised when the Holy Spirit reacted that you know in such a way I felt it it's like I f felt in my spirit he didn't say anything but I felt in my spirit that that uh, uh, they wouldn't it's like they wouldn't uh, well actually a person um, I wanted to warn um, who run the course um, that basically it 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 wouldn't work anyway and uh, like uh, this um, I mean I did this uh, like I don't I can't remember exactly when but but after some time probably uh, this happened that uh, God simply wanted me to rest or I mean like there was I just felt well Jesus actually told me that uh, I should I just I I need I should just wait for him well to wait for him and the thing is that I was when this happened I was I, I, I was trying to uh, warn my stepbrother about this and I was so weak this was at the beginning of 2020 uh, and I needed support because I was barely walking and uh, the Holy Spirit I remember the Holy Spirit touching my left shoulder very gently and telling me it's okay 
and well basically that I cannot save him or you know I can't uh, it's it's like I I can do anything or something like that he's it's not gonna work and uh, that's that's when I fell I I don't I didn't wake up I, from that point. I was very, how to say this, I was burdened because of other things. Because um, when uh, the first time I gave up, I, I can, it's hard to explain, but I felt like my, sp when I realized that I couldn't go back to, com to the computer, which I motivated myself my spirit actually broke I felt like, like the Bible uses the word word well and that oh uh, no cisterns and it it was like like uh, my soul like uh, like it had broke and like I can compare it, it to a well or cistern with water and the water I mean the wall broke and the water uh, have uh, gone been gone out uh, went out and um, I was I became a uh, somebody who has no had no strength and uh, this was perpetual uh, state I had to carry this and I also I I was in such a, uh, a state that uh, while I had the time to rest because I don't I don't, um, I don't uh, have a job and so I had a plenty of time to well I all the time to rest but side of me I had to simply um, hold myself together and I knew that if I will I will stop you know pushing myself I will just fall apart and and I just couldn't just rest it out it could it, it was be I was broken beyond um, healing and or rest you know any rest can heal I was well well rested in in I mean physically but uh, inside I was I was just holding myself together and I was I, I was strengthless and, I, and the combination of I, I came to this point and 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 I was just barely standing and I I I, I thought that the rapture will happen that year because of um, I, I saw this video on YouTube and uh, I, I actually, I, I, th I remember praying to Jesus, and and it it was just like, he he moved, he has shown me this video, and, and it everything just, it just, how to say this, um, it just logically, well, it was all making sense and. Uh, kind of um, what the Bible says it it fits but the 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 problem was that the Bible the way that it was written was not meant literally but so I didn't know this back then and uh, I believed it and I and I and I like I I trusted that I trusted the God that he would deliver me and and I and I will be recovered but mm, the opposite happened and uh, that's when I fell and that's when I fell into sin I went angry with God I I I suddenly went into a state when and this is hard to complicated to explain but um, I had hope and God took hope away from me because the last thing that I I had was work I mean not like job physical work but working for his kingdom to do something and and um, 
I be I was the last thing has been taken away and I I was basically left empty and uh, like I was fighting not to end up l like laying down on my bed and looking up upon my ceiling and this is hard to explain because I would need to explain the background of my life and lifestyle and everything that happened to me but basically I, I I'm a hikikomori and I had to give up you know like computers like we did well video games all also because it it is it's co you know computer re related stuff but it's something that is it's in inside of heart in in the heart of a man and and um basically i i i i, I sacrificed everything to god gave everything and um and moved every like everything every ho hobby or dream that well basically it was the computer and i wanted to move it to something else that has an eternal value i was willing to change i was trying to do the right thing and and um I actually um, not just hoped in, that God will going to somehow get me out of the situation if I will gonna satisfy every you know everything I will follow this path of righteousness but in the end I achieved the very opposite I was fighting for the whole time and it was nothing it was nothing and the thing i mean like looking up in the ceiling that was that was exactly what i i was fighting against and uh, and so when this happened i i decided i would say because i i let my ego and pride took over and decided that i i had enough and because I, instead of rec receiving help when I was, I really, but out of strength, I, 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 I went to the very end of, of my being and I, I was hoping that he will restore me and, and this is when things get, got awry. And I started to release my anger towards God. I mean, I wanted to end the relationship and go away but there was nowhere to go i i couldn't like go away and lo i mean i i i need god i i i need salvation and i don't want to end up in the lake of fire so i was f basically forced to stay in this relationship and i couldn't take it anymore and I, uh, all this, all this stuff, I I can explain because there are multiple reasons why I did. I mean, why not? Why I did this? Not just what I just said, but uh, it's it it would be too long. So my point is, um, I did not trust God and I thought that this is go this is just another like uh, a, a trial or a test which it was but not the person not not the way that I thought it will it is go and um, I believe that it might be some kind of a you know how am I supposed going going to react because at the judgment day, you know God can tell me that I sh I could have done like like something, uh, and I I didn't I d haven't told you not to do anything, and this is the this is the core issue why this happened and now. The reason why I am making this, well, video or on YouTube, is that 
after 13 months, God was still, I mean, of me perpetually doing this, and I, I, I was, I decided that that, I mean, I rebelled against God's will, and that to to just wait for Him and to trust Him, and uh, I was releasing my anger as I as I explained, and at the even after 13 months later I was still I mean Jesus was still there I still was in a relationship with Jesus he was sad but I was still there and here's the thing that I wanted no longer to be angry with God but at that time I my heart and my mind got one was so hardened um, that I I simply I simply could could not um uh I could not uh, like Jesus said trust in me and I I didn't knew what 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 he mean by that what what does it mean that I should trust in him I, I sh yeah it is obvious but I was in in such a city that I I I wanted to but I but I could not. I mean, like I could not really do it, and I made uh, I made a horrible mistake, which led to the Holy Spirit leaving me. I I could have technically do it, um, meaning that I could have like trusted in Him, but because of I was so hardened. I inside it was so much harder after 30 months of hardening than it was at the very beginning and I decided back then that I had enough like of all the suffering and injustice that is happening to me and, and I and I just wanted to suffer no more and so what happened is that one night um I was I was trying to I was fasting and I was trying to you know, like reconcile with God but I I was always in my mind I was always coming back to being angry with God and I it, and the cycle just I never it never stopped and uh, I made this horrible decision which was uh, the idea was that I should have asked at the very beginning like why and like I could have avoided all of this and this is what happened I asked the father why why did he do what he did and he explained it was something like really stupid like I mean nothing it, it was nothing of importance nothing that I could not you know just blindly trust in him but the thing is that the consequence of this um, well it the Holy Spirit didn't leave me right away because of other reasons uh, which I'm not going to describe in because it would be too long but uh, I it he eventually left me and uh, the f father was I mean God was like uh, burning with anger against me and, and uh, when this happened I was I remember it it was this feeling like this energy from inside my chest leaving this love I mean this this radiating electricity well an energy leaving and suddenly when that happened what was left behind was the damage that the sin the perpetual sin has caused but it was I was protected by God's presence so I was I mean God was between you between me and the sin in these sins and when he when he when the holy spirit left me he uh, 
I suddenly felt well in 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 my chest like my whole inside like this it's hard to explain but these holes in it's like like it's not like a mental cheese but it's like something among that line and and my uh, heart and mind was so hard and so hard that I couldn't feel any emotions meaning like I pray tried to pray but there were only like if I would read word words uh, like sentences from a book and it was I couldn't attach any kind of regret like I didn't feel any regret but I wanted to feel regret of what I've done and I couldn't and it was I I, I tried and 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 uh, eventually I did my best and as the father for the for a second chance which like the next um um moment I went to this online church called um a uh, life church online and there is a there is a uh p- page, page with uh, a chat a live chat and i asked for a prayer there is a request prayer button there and uh, a woman called olivia l1 prayed for me uh, she she told me I, I i said her what 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 happened to me and she told me that she, that well quote unquote we've all been there before and for me and the holy spirit returned to me now i i'm not going to ex- explain how empty and miserable and hope with no peace i mean the 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 state of like unread i'm like peace was gone and and this this coldness inside it's it's horrible when when god's presence leaves you it's 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 tormenting beyond what you can be bear and i was filled with this energy warmth of like love love like warmth i was filled with this warmth this energy and but the problem is that i uh, am physically damaged by by this sin like i physically like i felt like a, my chest is like ripped apart open it's it's horrible and uh, my my tongue my mouth my throat is is burning like constantly i am having this burning sensation i couldn't sleep i couldn't i mean i have no peace re- rest even after i mean when the holy spirit uh, came back, i i felt i mean like it, it cannot yeah. it was oh, it was awesome i mean the 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 rest that came upon me i mean the f- the feeling it it was it was oh, it was very, very very it was exactly like what i was missing and uh, later on but later on i was so much without peace that i was walking to and f- i mean up and down my room i couldn't have peace it, it was horrible and the thing is that i was again went into this online church um and um i the live chat was not active and i submitted a, a prayer request and the thing is that that night during the night i suddenly received healing and this closed this healing really healed me and closed this open like like how to say this 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 hole in my chest or something um 
but the thing is, I'm still having my wounds. I'm still physically damaged inside. I'm still physically. I'm having this hole inside my chest. It's 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 a different on a different level, but um, my mouth, throat, and like tongue is is still burning. It's not as intensive as it was before, but another issue is that I God's presence is there, but I don't have his in immediate presence, his, his intimate presence. And this is why I'm making this um, video that I'm I'm trying to look for people who would pray for me and I can of course pray for them uh, I really need prayer because I'm doing fasting and it helps a little I worship uh, and it helps I, I'm, I mean I worship and I'm, I'm I worship and it I praised his name uh, the name of the Lord and it helped a little but really these two breakthroughs was when other people uh, have prayed for me and uh, many people prayed for me but only these two times I received real, real healing, real help and uh, I'm hoping that uh, people are going to, that, I mean somebody is going to pray for me and, and I will receive like healing and full and complete restoration I I'm here I I I I will I'm going to read through the comments and I, I really am going to um, pray pray for each one of you and and um, I love you very so very much and I I I know what you're going through if you are you are in the same shoes as I I am it's horrible. I was so foolish and I, I would never do such a thing again, ever. I'm constantly um, fasting. I, I'm, I'm, I'm basically required of, I mean, not required, but I'm doing a 12, 12 days fast. That's, that's, as, that's as much as God wants me. I made a, a 11 day fast um, just days ago and I I need I, I simply I don't even have the time to to like go get back to, f to food I need need uh, like time is so so short that I don't have the luxury of of, of uh, having uh, enjoying food and then trying it and I mean I I do like I I eat eat uh, to full but like quickly eating everything and uh, and then go back to it I found out that um, eating raw vegetables and fruit is the way to have to go through to be able to do these fasts so that's what I'm doing but yeah that would be all basically what I wanted to tell I apologize I'm really not uh, a good speaker and uh, if you went through all of the video I mean my recording I'm v you're awesome thank you very much and uh, I'm I'm out God bless you bye